season of Real Housewives of New Jersey started out with a smackdown at the christening and ended with a fight over a cookbook. Part one of the reunion airs this Sunday and it looks like it's going to be fireworks galore. Take a look at the sneak peek. What are you crying about? I'm crying because Jacqueline's not here. And if she has to hate me for a while, hate me. Joe was arrested. If he's convicted, he could face between 18 months and 10 years in prison. I was horrible to them. To Melissa and Kathy. Both of them. Were you in touch with Danielle at that time? Um, you are such a freaking liar. You're the devil. <gasps> I'm like looking at the exorcist right now. Melissa Gorga, Caroline Manzo, and Kathy Wakile. Okay, first of all, I'm so glad all of you all are here. And, you know, I hope that you've been, you know, keeping up with your hot topics and knowing that we've been talking about you guys all season. Caroline. <laughs> this is scary. She starts with me. No, well, well, no, 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 no. You're all good. You're good. You're good. Um, and, I, and I love your song. Thank you. Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, Caroline, um, things look really tense at the reunion. Um, a lot more tense compared to the past. How do things stack up? Uh, every reunion is you know, power charge, supercharged, I like to say. But this reunion, I think, is very revealing. And I think so many of you are going to be shocked with the, mm -hmm. the revelations that, that uh, are going to be exposed. OK. Well, it is a two-parter, remember. So Jacqueline, Caroline, Jacqueline is absent from the reunion. Why? Because uh, we've been hearing she quit the show. We don't know yeah. anything about that. You know, we don't know anything about season five. We're only on season three. Like, give us a break. We gotta go through season four. We're filming. Okay, um, yeah. We're, we're present. Production. We're presently yeah. filming season four. It's almost uh, done. The night before, there was an incident that really knocked Jacqueline for a loop, and she just could not look a certain someone in the face. And Teresa, you said it. I didn't. <laughs> and uh, she literally wasn't capable of doing the reunion. She was so. Are yeah. we going to find out what this incident is here? Yes. Uh, on the reunion? Uh, here? No, <laughs> but I mean on the reunion? Well, I've Andy Cohen, like, oh, yeah. No. Uh, uh, by the way, speaking of Andy and the, and the powers that be at Bravo, aren't you guys contractually bound to show up to the reunion? I don't know anything, Wendy. All I know is Jacqueline didn't show up. <laughs> That's all we know. <laughs> she called some lawyers and got them involved. I don't know the Oh, my God. Do. Melissa. The word in the street, according to what Teresa says and, and the internet, is that you were a stripper. Were you a stripper? I was, let's set the record straight. Okay. I was never, ever a stripper. Although I have absolutely <laughs> nothing against them. I, w I was a bartender. Um, I graduated. I have a teaching degree in elementary education. I did bartend through college, but I was never, ever a stripper. So it, it bothers me to be accused of something that's untrue. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, it's out there. I'm going to clear it up. The answer Did you no. wear poom poom shorts and a cut off shirt? I were, <laughs> no, they weren't even, you know, they didn't even show any butt, nothing. It was like black shorts and a tank top. Oh. And sneakers. I wore oh. sneakers. I mean, so oh. unsexy when so you put the sneakers. Like yeah. Just totally good. No. It's like at Hooters or something Honest like that. Honest to God, right. yeah. yeah. So, um, and Kathy, you, yes. uh, first let me just say that your family is gorgeous. Thank I mean, you. I can put. You. I could put. You know what? And and I do want to acknowledge that the husbands are here today. Hi, Rich. Hi, Albert. Hi, Joe. Let me tell you something. I could put the TV on mute and just look at your family all day. Your daughter, your son, you and your husband. But then when I take the TV off mute and I hear the way Rich has your back and you guys are a real unit. He's my biggest protector. I love the way you talk and relate to your kids the whole bit. You have to be honest with people. Them. They're good you know? people. Mm -hmm. All right, so Teresa has a cookbook out. Mm. It Does all she? goes back to Teresa, right? <laughs> <laughs> Teresa has a cookbook out, and it's ruffling some feathers. Um, have you guys read it? Yeah. Yes. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the cookbook, Teresa says that Caroline is an Olive Garden Italian. What is that? We love the Olive Garden. Uh, like really I said, well. with the Olive Garden, never do to Teresa, and I tweeted the other day, call me, you know, I'll be your national spokesperson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it, that's a ridiculous statement. That didn't even bother me at all. It's childish. Um, 
you know, she embellished on something that we did on a, on a meatball competition that I won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had to add that in. Um, she embellished on that. Childish. That's not my issue. My issue is she spoke about my son. She spoke about these people. She disrespected all of us. What did she say about? What did she say about? Christopher, Chris? season one was joking around that wouldn't it be cool to have a car wash with strippers because you got the strippers bringing in the, like they draw in the mess. Right. I happen to think it's a brilliant idea. It never, it never, it never did anything uh -huh. with it. We joked about it. Um, but why are you hitting my son? Would my yeah. son ever do to you? Is your, is, uh, I forgot which one, whether it's Chris or your other son. Albie. Uh, yeah. Albie, is he dating uh, still Billy Joel's daughter? No, they were, they're great friends and I adore Damn. that. I, uh, can I tell you? <laughs> you were rooting for that, that one. kid. No, you were rooting for you know, it and I was rooting for you rooting uh, for it. That kid is precious. She's really nice. She's been here before, She's Alexa like, Ray. When you think about who her parents are yeah. and she is so grounded yeah. and she works every day and she works hard and if she doesn't do what she's supposed to do, She's she a gets good a phone girl. call from daddy and mommy, which is awesome. Yeah. But um, Albie's got a wonderful girlfriend that I love very much. Now, yeah. here's the thing. I, and I watch, I'm a fan, but I don't, what does, what does Joe, your husband, do for a living? He's a real estate developer. So he'll buy old warehouses gotcha. that look like a dump and he'll convert them into condos and apartments and buildings. And you guys' money is still long? Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> and, and, Yes. What does Rich do? I well, my husband was in the gas station business for like years. He still is. Uh -huh. But he started to buy like houses and you know properties and invest in them A early flipper. on, kind of. But then you know the market didn't do so well, yeah. so he held on to them. You know, and he spends a lot of time home because. He was out when I had the babies home, busting his butt to yeah. bring home a great living. So he can, at this point in his life, take it easy a little bit more and just, yeah. you know, yeah. I like do the way things you guys from like. the house. And Caroline, I've often joked here on the show that your time is almost up on the housewives because I think that you were so complete. Take that oh, in the best you. way. No, You're so complete. You. And I cried when your Albert re-asked you uh, yeah, under the trestle. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. cried, yeah. I cried. Let me see the ring. We it's all gorgeous. Thank you. We all cried it's together. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It was. I'm lucky. I appreciate you guys being here so much. I, I love my, uh, particularly my Real Housewives of Jersey being a Jersey girl. Part one of the Real Housewives of New Jersey is going to be juicy. It's the reunion. It airs Sunday night at 10 on Bravo. I'm watching and I know you will too. Up next, we're cooking some delicious soul food with the fabulous Miss Robbie Montgomery. Don't miss it. <laughs>